We present an end-to-end -end system for object copy and paste in stereoscopic 3D images. Our main objective is to obtain a convincing 3D viewing experience. Here we show the editing workflow for 3D copy and paste. Input to the system are stereoscopic pairs of images for the source and target and the output is a composited stereo pair of images. The workflow consists of three stages. Deathswing construction is performed offline prior to editing. We will next demonstrate the selection and composition stages. Here we demonstrate our multi-object segmentation tool. We start the procedure by computing mean shift clustering on the left image and allow the user to adjust the mean shift kernel size. Next, the user provides strokes to differentiate objects in the scene. The user can see the merge results in real time while dragging the mouse. After the user releases the mouse, we apply graph cuts optimization to refine the contour of the merged cluster. For regions with ambiguous colors, the user can further refine the contour using additional strokes. For large backgrounds, it is easier to perform clustering with large kernel size. The segmentation results are propagated automatically to the right image. After a few seconds, we see the propagation results. If necessary, the user can still provide additional strokes to fix small classification errors. The user checks again if he is satisfied with the segmentation and finally saves the results. With the segmentation results, the user can now start performing 3D object copy and paste. In a naive approach, where we directly compose the source into the target, without perspective correction and occlusion handling, the result looks unnatural. In our composite approach, we adjust viewing perspective, occlusion and contact shadows at interactive frame rates. In our system, the user can view the results stereoscopically wearing shutter glasses or anaglyph glasses. The following results are rendered using anaglyph coding. Please have a pair of anaglyph glasses ready to enjoy the video in 3D. Composition is performed interactively while the user is viewing the results in stereo. The system continuously ensures consistent orientation of the pasted object in the target scene. Next we will show comparisons of different rendering methods. One way to render 3D objects is to render the objects using a fixed plane proxy which fits the point clouds using least squares. With our stereo billboard approach, the objects are less distorted and their stereo volume is better preserved. We keep the object's forward-facing orientation of the source images to avoid parts previously hidden becoming visible and we have no data available for the invisible parts. With this correction, the objects look more plausible under new perspective. However, without shadows, the objects appear to be floating. We use ambient occlusion to synthesize the contact shadows and this is our final result. Now we're going to show more results where we copy an object from source to target. As the user moves the object around, the object will snap onto the closest surface automatically. Perspective and depth order are adjusted interactively while the user moves the object around. There are a few limitations that we would like to address in future work. Approximating geometry with planar proxies has its limitations. In the left example, the copied object appears to float on top of the grass because the detailed structure of the grass surface is not well approximated by a plane. In the right example, the left person appears to be distorted after he is pasted into a scene with large orientation change. We have presented an end-to-end -end system for stereoscopic 3D copy and paste. With the rapid growth in popularity of 3D, the need for 3D editing tools is apparent. We hope our approach can inspire future work in this field.